I left England in 89 and I started working in a hospital in Calcutta. And those days there were no mobile phones. And we used to have a land phone line connection in the operating room. And when I was in the middle of an operation, my anesthetist took a call and he told me that uh, some patient wants me to make a house call. And I politely told him that I'm a heart surgeon, what do I do at home? And then the caller insisted that I visit the patient, saying that it might perhaps transform my life. And that patient happens to be Mother Teresa. She introduced me to the power of simplicity, power of compassion, power of love. Like one of our very famous uh, statements, which I have in my office, is that hand which helps are holier than the lips that pray. She is a nun, her job is supposed to pray, but she herself believes that helping other human beings is the best form to reach out to God. You see, the modern medicine has undermined the importance of touch and compassion on the face of a doctor. When a patient comes to me, he has done all the investigations. I know exactly what's happening with the patient. I don't need to put a stethoscope and listen to his heart and the lungs, but I do it. I don't need to touch him, but I still do it because the power of touch is phenomenal. The moment I touch the patient, I put my hand around the shoulders. That's very reassuring. I only have five minutes or 10 minutes of interaction. In that period, I have to convince him to undergo an operation by which he can potentially die. He has to make a decision. He has to trust me. I have to look onto his eyes, talk to him, connect with him. And that's very important. That, that has larger healing power than all the surgical tools and medicines I have in this world. But unfortunately, the, the, the whole philosophy of a touch, compassion, caring, is gradually losing ground. It is a sad situation. I hope it gets restored.